Alright, hey guys, it's Everything for iPod here. I'm not actually on the tripod today because I'm at too low of an angle, but I am going to be showing you how to replace, install, whatever, the RAM or memory on your iMac. I am doing this on the 27 inch iMac, but it's the same process for the 21.5 inch iMac. Preferably if you have the screen film that came on your Mac, which I do, you're going to want to put that on just so you prevent any scratches while doing this. If you don't, it's fine. Just put it down on a soft surface where you're not going to be able to have scratch, where you're not going to get any scratches. So the first thing you're going to want to do is put it face down. I put it on the floor like this, um, on the ground, of course, in the screen film. Now the stand will stay up on its own. Just put it in the full upright position and it'll expose down here on the bottom this cover where the speaker is in the middle of the computer so we're gonna go to here and this is what we're gonna be working with today now I got my memory from OWC which is maxsales.com that link will be in the description if you wanna buy RAM from there that's where I bought it I bought 16 gigs I got, bought four 4 gig sticks Currently there is 4 gigs of RAM in the computer, 2 2 gigabyte sticks, but I'm upgrading it to 4 4 gigabyte sticks, so I'll have 16 gigs in total of RAM, um, which is the maximum this Mac will allow you. I also went ahead and bought a screwdriver for doing this, because I don't, I don't know if I had the right size. If you have it, it's fine. It doesn't need a special one. It's just a regular um, Phillips head, as you can see there, but it is a pretty small one. So the first thing you're going to want to do is, oh that one's not even working, hold on. Alright guys, sorry about that, I actually um, needed to figure out what screwdriver worked. What I found out was even though these screws are really small, and I ordered a screwdriver, this is the, this is the one they said would work right here which seems pretty reasonable. I mean, it fits. But this is the one that I had to use to get it open. A big screwdriver. So, I don't know. Whatever. So, what you're gonna do, I'm gonna just pull this out a little. Start by unscrewing all three screws on the bottom. Here, I'm gonna reach this. So just, sorry if my hand's like getting in the way, but unscrew all three of these and the nice thing about these screws they are like built in so you don't have to worry about them falling out um, they are going to stay with the plate that we're taking off here to expose the RAM okay. sorry about all the repositioning I'm just trying to get you guys the best angle so I don't get in the way alright so set your screwdriver aside here and the plate will just come off and like I said the screws are built in so they're not gonna fall out slide that over and now you'll see here is the RAM itself so you'll see there's slot one and under it there's another slot and then there's a slot over here and another one under it only the top two are actually actually have RAM in them though so what we're going to do is go ahead and pull this little tab out that's sticking in between the RAM. And we're going to let me reposition so you can see. Alright, so the black tab right here, we're actually going to yank on this. So we pull the RAM out. Okay. When we pull on it, the RAM cartridge will slide out. And then, somehow, there we go. We're going to pull the RAM out like this. Here's 
the ram from the first slot right here and we're gonna take the second piece out real fast. Same idea. I'm gonna pull this black tab out, yank on it, the ram comes out, pull it out. It does take quite a bit of force to pull it out. Um, Alright, now it's time for the new ram to be put in. So, I'm gonna open up this package here. Let me get my knife. So here it is, being held closed by a sticker again. The website where I got this will be in the description. Um, they have all different kits, so you can really upgrade it to whatever you want. I got this for about $200. Um, while well, Apple charges you an extra thousand dollars to get this. So I figured, hey, I've never done this before, but it seems easy. Why don't I try it? So that's exactly what I'm doing. It doesn't seem too hard so far. Let's hope everything goes well. Here's our four RAM cartridges. I'm going to do this one by one here. I'm going to pull these two over to the side. I don't want to get them mixed up. Because knowing me, I probably won't be able to tell the difference. And we're going to take first one. And we're going to put it in. Okay, I think that's in. Same thing with the second one. Okay. And now once both of them are in, we're just going to fold the tab in again. Okay. And now over on the other side, we're going to do the same thing. And it does take a lot of force, again, to put them back in. Okay, once that's done, we're all set. We're going to put this plate back on. And then once I put the plate on, I'm going to screw it back in. And then once I put it on, I'm going to show you how to make sure that your RAM is put in correctly. And make sure that the right number, like you have the right amount of RAM that the company didn't, that you bought it from didn't like accidentally send you the wrong type. So, I'm just again, screwing all these back in. Doesn't need to be majorly tight. Okay, plate's back on. What I'm gonna do is go put this back on my desk. Um, put the camera on the tripod, we'll start the computer up, and I'll show you how to put this, um, how to check if your RAM is put in correctly and make sure that you have it in. So, okay, I'm going to go set that up. Alright, so the iMac power is hooked up. I put the RAM in, and now I am going to boot up the iMac. Everything seems to be working. The iMac is booted up successfully, so that probably means it's working. Let's just make sure. So what you're going to do, up in the top left-hand corner, up here, we're going to want to click... Here, let me get a better view. And I am not doing a uh, screen recording right now, sorry, but I don't know. Click on the Apple logo and click on About This Mac, and there we go. A little di a little window. Let me find it. Um, where is it? I'm like f so far zoomed in. All right, here we go. A little window right here will say all your information, and now it does say 
16 gigabytes of memory, which is what we just installed. So it did work perfectly. I gotta say that was really easy. I knew from watching a lot of videos and instruction manuals and stuff that it was going to be easy. So I went ahead and did it, but I didn't think it was going to be that easy. Really took no s computer skills at all. I'm really not a big guy in taking things apart. Um, I Last time I tried to do something like that, I totally screwed it up and broke what I was trying to do. But I gotta say, this is very easy. I recommend it to anybody who wants additional RAM who can't... Um, afford it through Apple. Buy it yourself and install it yourself. It's a lot cheaper. You don't have to get 16 gigs. You can go lower than that and it's going to be a lot cheaper. Again, link in the description for where I bought the RAM. Check out our other videos. Um, subscribe to us and yeah, thanks guys. See you later.